Piping 1.0 Piping 1.0 is available in Zero 3D 2022, making it much easier to do the pipe design. Now, let's take a look. Zero 3D provides two methods to do the pipe design, specification driven and non-specification driven. Now, I will introduce them one by one. Specification driven Specification rules definitions for specification-driven mode, we need to define the specification rules first. To be specific, we need to select the required pipe and standard parts such as flange, elbow, branch, valve, etc. from the library by defined conditions. We can check the generated parts anytime. And there is branch rule available for us to make the branch effectively. Create a new pipeline. After definitions of specification rules, we are able to create a new pipeline based on the predefined specification. And there are additional settings, such as band type, minimum and maximum length, auto fitting and insulation, making the design in accord with the technical requirements. Routing. Now, we can start the routing process. Select a port as the starting point. Then, use the handle to route the pipe quickly. And you will notice all the flange and the gasket are mounted automatically. Add branch. If we need to make a branch, just select the new sides of the branch. Click on the center line of the main pipe as the starting point and drag. Then, a reducer T will be mounted according to the branch rule. Add insulation. To add the insulation, just select the root segments and define the parameters accordingly. Insert standard part. After the routing process is done, we can insert more standard parts accordingly. Define the inserting point. Select the type of the parts. Then, define its orientation and get the result. Use the same method to insert more standard parts. Pipe adjustment. Zero 3D provides powerful tools to do the design alteration. We can drag and move the segment by a certain distance, or rotate the standard part to a different direction. Change sides in batches. It's possible to change the size of pipes in batches. Select the pipes and standard parts. Define the new size of them. Then. Choose the available standard parts. After that, you will see all the pipes, standard parts, and even the insulation are updated simultaneously. Now specification driven. For now specification driven mode, it's a casual way, which is more suitable for small batches of pipe design. Instead of specification rules definition, we need to select all the standard parts via manually from the library folder. New piping module will greatly improve your working efficiency.